Hey everybody, how's it going? So uh, I've got Mr. Trey Xavier from Gear Gods here today. Thanks for coming up, Trey. No problem. Uh, it's, Trey's, it's gonna, Trey's gonna be a good with time. Yeah, Trey's gonna be uh, hanging with me at Summer Nam in Nashville. So we're hanging out here in Windsor, Ontario for a few days. We're gonna fly down together. Should be a blast. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Really happy to have you here, man. Seriously, thanks so much for coming no up. No problem. We're, we're having a good time. We're uh, playing some guitar, doing some other stuff, and um, yeah. I, I've had this kicking around here for a little while. This is the uh, Joyo Dual Clones. Amp. And this is a an analog multipath amp, and it's designed to emulate the analog sound of other amps, based on being able to change its own internal internal circuits via relays. So, so it's almost like a modeling amp, but without. Yeah, but no digital. No it's digital all analog. Amp. So, very curious to hear how this is going to sound. I know this comes with a bunch of stuff, like extra power tubes. So, uh, if you're going from one type of amp to another, it will uh, it will emulate properly. So, yes, let's take a look here. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Foamy. Oh, I will say this. Yeah. Joel really did a great job on the packing here. Look at this. Holy fuck. They, they are not messing around. It survived. It looks like it survived from China, so that's cool. Awesome. Oh, hang on. Hold that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Okay. You're such a pranklet. Oh, what do we get here? Oh, okay, cool. So first up, ooh, we get an accessory box, control pedal, power cord, cables. So that's cool. You get a fucking foot switch with it. Cat, chassis, channel, cab. Oh, cool. Excellent, excellent. Nice job. So one thing I, I do like about the, the Joyo stuff, you always get get all the accessories to, that come, come right with it. You don't have to buy them separately. Yeah, that's important. That is a big plus. And vacuum tubes. We get EL84s and EL34s. So, so are these... Power tubes. E right. Are these extra power tubes or are they... Different types. Different kinds. I think this comes are... loaded with 6L6s. Okay. So cool. if you want to go from, say, like a 5150 to a JCM800, you change out your power tubes and then change the model inside because this is app control. Anyway, let's get a look at this beast. And I'm just going to pull up. Here, you grab the box. And here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. There it is. Now, I got to play with this and Frank for a little bit at Music Mess, but not really that much. So it looks like we've got um, different outputs, uh, two different, you can hook this up to two different caps. Shit, I'm going to have to run a second speaker cable out in the studio now. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's going to be oh, a big job. Oh, life is fucking... No, that nice. is going to be a big job, but uh, seriously. Oh, effects send, standard, we can turn that up. Okay, so we got a detent. No, unfortunately, no, but at least it tells you where the uh, normal... Yeah. Normal level is, oh, there's your USB control if you want to control it that way. 115, 120 volts, that sounds right. This Just is cool, there's like a little thing so you can't accidentally boop and hit it to the wrong voltage. Exactly. That's really That's handy. a big plus, yeah. So, now this amp was actually designed in Italy, not in China. So that's that's one of the things that everybody, oh, are those, uh, those look like 6L6s in there. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, we're gonna uh, cut camera here for a second here. We're gonna try hooking this up and see if I can find the app for this. And uh, we'll see what we get. Just uh, sit tight, we'll be right back. So already then, we've uh, got the clones hooked up to uh, my 4x12 out in the uh, room. We've got a Rev 4x12 hooked up and it's... So we, we just got the app going. Uh, this was really easy to pair up um, via Bluetooth. Really easy to get installed and get going. And uh, it's pretty cool because it sits here and you switch between amps and it reconfigures itself. There's a little bit of a pause while it does whatever it's gonna do. But yeah. I, I'm very already very impressed by this. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's a freaking chameleon. It, it's it's unbelievable. Um, we're just gonna do like a couple things here. We're gonna show like um, we're gonna do a little clean thing. This is just using the clones vintage uh, zero right here. Check this out. And uh, that's that's one of the vintage heads. I mean, like we can get a little bit more. Give me something a little more rock and roll. Well, go on your treble pickup. It's a, like an AC30. Let's see uh, here. Well, this one's called the, the Blues Bomb. Let's hear that. You're going to be able to do your own presets. Like you can take a uh, preamp section, say like from a... Uh, from a dual rectifier and then like go like an old uh, Marshall JVM or something like that and for the power section. So you're going to be able to get interesting combinations like stuff you wouldn't be able to get. Yeah. Like, okay, here, here. You could also probably uh, wind up with some just terrible monsters. And oh, <laughs> sure. Awful. Absolutely. Now this one's <laughs> called British Steel. Think, think old school British metal. 
Yeah, that needs a little bit of a uh, little. Not bad. Um, this one's probably meant to be paired up with a set of EL, EL34s as opposed to 6L6s. So this is something we would definitely want to change the tubes out for. Okay, so uh, we're going over the modern channel here and this is a little preset called Fast Eddie's Vivo. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. That's that's fucking impressive. It's pretty close. It's nice. Yeah. And uh, this one is called the double reactor. That's that's crazy. It's heavy. It's quite heavy. We've we've gone from blues to uh, classic metal to like modern metal without using anything digital at all. Yeah. So if you're using like a modeler, that's pretty standard. But this was. 100% analog tube path. Yeah. So that's pretty incredible. That is pretty insane. Me. Now, I can see this being really cool, say, if you pair it up with, like, say, a Two Notes Torpedo Live, and then you can switch cabinets as well just on the fly, which would be really freaking right, amazing. Right, because it's MIDI capable, yep. so, and so is the Two Notes, so you just hook them up in MIDI, and you can set up your patches to have... Oh, that's like, cool. You could, like, have a um, one cab with a certain sound... Damn, I didn't even think of that. That's a great idea. Shit. Very, very nifty. Uh, I got to say, damn impressive. So far, so good. Um, really looking forward to putting this thing through its paces and trying them out with the different power tubes as well. And then do, showing you guys what I can do, because I do have, have a, a Torpedo Live here, and pair this up with some uh, analog cabinets and then some some digital caps, some, some, um, some impulses, and just see what happens, you know, so we can switch the varying different styles of metal. Very cool stuff. Thanks for uh, yeah. helping out on this one, Trey. Uh, yeah. Much appreciated. I'm sure the uh, the uh, the Puritans in Poland would really appreciate that fist pump too. So <laughs> it's kind of a recurring theme on this show. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll have more from this in the uh, coming weeks. I'm really looking forward to putting this monster through its paces. But so far, really impressive. Cool. Take it easy. <laughs>